In this video, we'll look at whether KClO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. This is potassium perchlorate. To do that, we need to know the neutralization reaction that produces the potassium perchlorate. So we have, in this case, HClO4 plus KOH. When these react, they produce our potassium perchlorate, KClO4, plus water, since it's a neutralization reaction. To use these rules here, we need to figure out the strength of the acid and the base. To do that, we can use this table here. So on the table, as we look down, HClO4, this perchloric acid right here, that's a strong acid, right? Sa, so we can remember that. And then OH, so we have a base, KOH, right here. Potassium hydroxide, strong base. So strong base. So now we know the strength of the acid in the base. We can use the rules to figure out whether KClO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So looking at our rules, if we have a strong base and a strong acid, which we do, strong base and strong acid, according to our rules, when they react, when they neutralize, the salt, the KClO4 that we end up with, dissolved in water, its pH will remain neutral at 7. So in answer to our question, KClO4 is neutral when it's dissolved in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.